Uh, here's the nail clippers you needed, Anard. Ah, oh, thank you, Mr. Butters. So, uh, what exactly are you building, Mr. Butters? I am building a brand new portable device. What does said portable device do? Well, initially it was just supposed to be a little, uh, little fan in case I got warm. But it's actually doubles as a cloning device. As long as you have the fan running and you press this trigger, it shoots out a little beam and clones whatever life organisms it touches. Oh, uh, neat. I didn't know that kind of thing could be portable. You'd be surprised at today's technology. So what was the nail clippers for? Oh, sorry. My manicure is overdue. <sighs> there. Entered. Jeez, learn to knock, Fred Bear. There was no door, it's just a hallway. Well, knock on the wall. <sighs> Whatever, listen, Ennard, I have to talk to you. Uh, what's going on? As you know, I've been in recovery the last couple days. Yeah, after that whole encounter with Nightmare. Yes, and I've told Charlie to take some rest time. I told her that we shouldn't worry about it, but honestly, I am deeply worried. She just seems so stressed out right now, and someone her age doesn't need to deal with something like this. Uh, she's been dealing with a lot for someone her age, you know. It's my responsibility as a parent to stand up for my children. Don't be backseat parenting, Mr. Butters. I'll have you know I have three little butter stick children at my house. You have children? You have a house? Have I not introduced y'all to my dearest Miss Mozzarella? I, I don't, I don't think so. We've been dating for like a year and a half. Oh my god, this is what happens when you all got tangled up in the lore. Hey, honey. Oh, hi, Mr. Butters. Are you going to be off work soon? Yeah, yeah, in a couple hours. Uh, I think my shift ends at 6. Anyways, uh, you want to know something real funny? Oh, uh, what is it? Apparently, Anna doesn't even know you. Oh, gosh. Where has time flown? Yeah, I know. Oh, well, perhaps maybe we should do some kind of double date with him and his girlfriend soon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, it's nothing, honey, it's nothing. It does sound like a good idea. All right, I gotta get off here. I love you. All right, bye. <sighs> uh, what did she say to you that made you laugh so hard? Nothing. Anyways, God, we're getting so off track. We have to deal with Nightmare. He's bound to be a threat. The things I've heard that he's done to this world by Charlie, it's, it's horrific. Yeah, don't remind me. Well, I've got an idea. We have a perfect thing to make an army of people. Oh, really? Are you planning on setting up a recruitment program? No, dummy! It's my cloning machine! Take it, you zap it in any carbon-based life form, and then boom, they just become another. What? Ennard, we're not gonna use that cloning machine! What? Why not? It's like perfect and foolproof. I tested it on a rat, and it, it, it basically worked. What does basically mean? I don't mean it was deformed or anything, but you know, it just kind of came out and it had brown fur. And then it started eating the other one. And then I kind of stopped looking, so I don't really know what happened after that. But the point is, it works! It doesn't sound like it works, Ennard. Look, do you got any other better ideas? Not particularly, but I'm gonna need the time to think of some. Where are your other two assistants? I'm not sure. Here, I'll call them on my tracking device. You're tracking what? Ah! Ow! Oh, man, I was really enjoying that game of football. You're lucky I just got out of the shower, dude. I barely got time to put my clothes on. Oh, geez, sorry. You guys signed the contract. You made the terms and conditions like 60 pages. Why were we going to read all of that? That's why I made it 60 pages. Adoy. Ugh, you're the worst. Anyways, what do you need? Listen, I need a smart, capable young uh, fellow like one of you two to come with me and make some plans. Uh, you come here. Ah, ah, wait, what are you doing? Ow, ow, stuck with my ear. Ah! I don't want to go! Don't worry, it's fine, we'll be fine. I've got some crosswords in my glove box and stuff. No, save me, Scott, baby! Uh, so what do I do now? Since Fredbear is gone and, you know, he can't, you know, hear us right now, we're gonna use my new clone machine. Ooh, clone machine! Hmm, all right, Ennard, what are you thinking? I'm thinking we find two lonely schmucks on the street, hand them each a $20 bill, and say, hey, you want to come be an experiment? I like where this is going. Mr. Butters, do you have your wallet? I, I think so. Hold on, let me just let me reach back here. Um, let me see here. Uh, is it in the basket? Oh, down to the left. Oh, down to the right. Uh, here we go. Ah, uh, thank you. Hey, that's mine! Oh, hush, Mr. Butters. You know I don't carry cash on me, and I'll pay you back later. I'm not going to. Oh, wait.
Will you pay him? All right, gang, we got daylight and two Jacksons in hand. Let's go! Uh, I better get overtime for this. I'm still baffled he pays you. He doesn't pay you guys? We're interns. Oh, you poor soul. <sighs> hey, do you want to go to the Glam Rocks for dinner tonight? I can give him a call. Eh, kind of just feel like eating out tonight. Do you want to go try that barbecue place down the road? Oh, yeah, I heard they just opened. I heard around that it was probably pretty good. The only thing that sucks is that you need exactly $20 to get in. Yeah, I carry all my money and change. I'm overdue on my credit card bills. Where are we gonna get $20 exactly? <sighs> you two look like two sad sacks that need exactly $20. We're exactly those kind of people, actually. I don't know if I'd say sad. Well, I've got two crisp $20 bills with your names on them. Ooh. Nope. You need to perform my little experiment first. Yeah, we pay people to get experimented on. It's great. I think you're gonna love it, Mr. Butters. Oh, uh, what is it? Yeah, I mean, it can't be that bad. Uh, it's a new form of uh, LASIK eye surgery. Do either of you need glasses? Well, I do since I have one eye closed all the time, but I don't get them because I like being clumsy and silly. Sunrise, I'm telling you, that's not gonna get you a girlfriend. But people on the internet say they love those kinds of people. Well, I don't really need it, but uh, you can do it on her. Ah, uh, well, it can also actually cure red eyes. Red eyes? What does that have to do with anything? Moondrop, it's because you have red eyes. I what? Well, this is your chance to get rid of them. Now get over here. Oh, uh, okay. All right. All right, so when I push this button, I'll blast you with the beam, and it'll turn on your LASIK eyes, and you guys will get a little better guy, little bit, bit, good eye stuffs. All right, here goes nothing. And I don't think it worked. But the, it worked the other day. What could have happened? Is it like out of batteries? Maybe it only works on rats. Oh, huh, that's weird. I can't see any better. Your eyes are still bulging red and disgusting. Ow! That was weird. Eh, sorry, guys. We still have a twin. Ah! What the? What the hell's going on? Ah! Oh my God! It's not even an oversight. Someone's. Ah! 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 Did this happen to the mice? I went to go get a coffee when I activated it. This is such an unfortunate oversight. I feel like I just gave birth from every hole. And my vision still sucks. Did that work as it ended? Uh, well, the intention was a bit different than what we told you. Great, Scott. Coffin. What? How is everyone doing on this fine evening? Well, I'm doing fine, thank you very much. Oh, I can tell just by your cute little smile on your face. What happened? They're like us, but not quite. Yeah, so we, uh, we cloned you guys. We kind of lied about the LASIK thing. I think I picked up on that. Taking the $20 now. Here's your cut. Oh, oh, thank you. Gosh, who's this peachy little face right here? Aw, oh, I could just eat you up, boil you into a stew, watch as your flesh melts off the bone, and then pick it out for bone marrow broth. I don't like how close you are to me after saying all that. Well, new friend, it's great to see you. You look just like me. Are you my little sister? If I'm anything, I'm your big sister, but I don't think that's how this works. Well, if it isn't a slightly less charming version of myself. But less charming, ow. Wow, just look at me. People on Tumblr would eat this smile up. You're just kinda sad and sharpie. Man, I really didn't think our clones would be insulting us. Neither did I. Well, the experiment worked. Yeah, that's good, sweet. Well, now it's time we test them in the art of war. All right, you two, come with us. You're property of my company now, so, uh, since we paid them, so, uh, come with us now. Aw, shucks, going already? I don't think this feels very fair. We're gonna get to see our new friends again, right? She's just so cute, I could really boil her alive in a pot roast. Stop talking about eating me! It's up to interpretation. I mean, considering the fact that I don't actually remember what happened to that brown rat about five hours after I made that experiment, he could have melted, but... You know, probably. You're really bad at conducting experiments. I could not miss my 6 p.m. yoga. All right, jeez. Well, since we've apparently been purchased, I, for one, think we should at least be able to spend one day with our new cloned friends, or we're the clones, and uh, uh, yeah, they were clones to make us, so yeah, that's how that works. We're still working out the kinks, but come on, just one day, Dad. Please. Don't ever call me Dad again, and sure. Oh, this is gonna be great! Truly a remarkable day. 
bringing the best of the suns and the moons together. I don't know if I'm really agreeing to this. Oh, come on, Sunrise. Don't be such a dippy down. I'm sure you're up for this, aren't you, Moondrop? Uh, I guess... Moon? Is that just gonna be your name? Sure, we'll go with that. All right, Scamps, you be careful now. We, we will. will! What have we gotten ourselves into? I don't know. <sighs> and now we wait to see if they eat each other. What? What happened to the rats? So, I mean... It might happen to them. What are they gonna do if it does? We can't just let Sunrise and Moondrop die. They're not gonna die. Those clones are probably some of the most lowbrow beings on the planet. If those clones somehow managed to work together to take down the two of them, I would be very surprised. I think Sunrise and Moondrop are perfectly capable of handling it, and nothing could possibly go wrong. Something's gonna go wrong. Yeah, we should probably keep a watchful eye. Come on, guys. Hey, but my 6 p.m. yoga! <laughs> my yoga! Uh, uh, oh, oh, crap, we fell asleep! Uh, uh, oh, yeah, I did. Scrap Baby, what are you doing? Would you loons keep it down? Uh, young lady, you have no right to talk to me like that. I'm not your daughter, Ennard. I'm your intern. I should be your dang boss at this point. What, what are you- Whoa. Uh, Scrap Baby, what's all this for? What? Can a girl not break down a proprietary equation based on how stem cells are gonna affect their molecular structure and therefore their behavior? Is there something so wrong about that? She just said words. Dude, I don't even understand what she said. <sighs> I'm trying to figure out why the moon and the sun clones are acting so strange. I'm also using said data on how to predict if they're gonna, you know, eat them. Like the rats did, like you said the rats did. Oh uh, yeah, the rats did do that. Yeah, it's probably not a terrible idea. Well, uh, what are they doing now? <laughs> okay, okay, it's my turn now. <laughs> I love the sounds that that makes. My brain is turning into mush. <sighs> Mine too. What were we going to do again tonight? Oh, right, we got to eat still. I almost forgot. Ooh, my turn. <laughs> Did you guys say food? <laughs> oh, yeah, um, we were going to get dinner with the money that Ener gave us. Uh, yeah. Oh, can we come with you guys? No, we only have two $20 bills and you need $20 to go get in. I mean, I kind of feel bad. I don't want them to starve. Wait, they can go find their own food. Moondrop, they were only born like five minutes ago. If you don't count, you know, the the split up time between the montage. Yeah, but I don't think we have to feed them. They're not our responsibility. They're Ennard's responsibility. Where even is that guy? Come on, Moondrop, just one meal. <sighs> Fine, but if they turn us around because we don't have enough money, then I don't care. I'm going to go eat. <sighs> All right, guys, come on. Hey, food, let's go. Ah, ah, now you're incapacitated and I can drag you. <sighs> hmm. More aggression. That is a little odd. Scrap baby, explain what it means. <sighs> yes, Ennard, sir. God, now I know what they mean when they say CEOs get paid to do nothing. We seem to be on a path of exponential growth. Meaning? Well, their aggression's only gonna get worse and worse. Till eventually, well, they turn really hostile. And they probably kill Sunrise and Moondrop. But it's just a theory. A game theory. There's no way I'm the only one in the room that gets that reference. We're outside. Well, um, then we should probably follow them, right? Yeah, we gotta make sure they don't turn too hostile, and then we're gonna have to intervene. Oh boy. All right, follow them to their dinner. <sighs> I really hope we have enough to afford all this food. Just chill out, Moondrop. It's gonna be fine. Howdy ho, you four. Hello there. Hi. They're pretty enthusiastic. Are you guys here on some, like, uh, family reunion or whatever? Uh, I don't really think it counts as a reunion if we're meeting for the first time. Oh, yeah, makes sense. We're gonna start you four off with. Uh, hmm. Could we see a menu? Oh, oh uh, yeah, okay. How about four rounds of water and some chips? Oh, I like that idea. I agree with that idea. No, hey, we, we just want to see a menu first. Yeah, I've never been here before. They seem pretty insistent. Well, what do I pick? The menu or the already made order? Remember what your boss told you. Pick the fast one. Uh, all right, I'll go be there uh, with your, your water and your chips. Wait, but that's not what we wanted. Ah, it seems pretty good to me. 
Yeah, I don't know why you guys are complaining so much. <sighs> play it cool, just play it cool. Sunrise, I'm getting tired of these guys. They keep messing everything up. Today's been so bothersome and boring. I just, they're so annoying too. I, we gotta find Ender and give him back to him. I know, but look, look, let's just try and bear it for a little longer. It's not that bad. You do sound like you're agitated, Sunrise. A little bit, but whatever. Just, let's just try and have a good time, please. All right. You don't think we look suspicious over here, do we? Mm, I don't think so. They do seem to be getting more agitated with each other. Yeah. So when and how do we step in? I imagine it'll be the clones. We should keep an up close eye on them. Wait a second, why am I telling you everything to do? Listen, my brain doesn't work when I miss my 6 p.m. yoga. I feel like you didn't start doing this yoga until more recently. Have you ever seen me work after 6 p.m.? Well, my shift ends at 5, Mr. Butters, so I guess not. <sighs> oh no. Here's your waters. And your chips. Okay, I'll be back for your main order in a couple minutes. <sighs> Move over, I want some too. <clears throat> Guys, can we have some chips too? Jeez. But I'm really hungry. It's for the table. Would you guys at least try and share? No! Nom, 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 nom. Ugh, I'll just order an appetizer in a minute. I'm thirsty! Me too! Those were ours! <laughs> That's it! Huh? You two have been nothing but bullies to us all day. And now you're taking a mooch off of our $20. You claim to be our clones and our friends, but you haven't shown anything that a friend would do. You're rude, annoying, and worst of all, you're just downright mean. You're nothing like me or Moondrop at all. Just some cheap fake imitations. Just buzz off and let us eat our dinner in peace. Oh yeah? Well, what are you gonna do about it? Uh, guys. Oh my god! It's about to go down, we gotta go stop him. Uh, should we wait a second? I kinda wanna see what happens. What? No! Take a chill pill, Leonard. I gotta take notes on this. I need to prove my theory right. He's gone hungry with power! Oh god. <laughs> oh, son! Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. oh, what the? Ah! Oh, oh. That. Yeah. I've especially had enough of you. Time for sunrise to make the sun set. Oh, what the hell? Holy crap, sunrise! I didn't know you had that in you. Well, when you constantly try to show people generosity and then they just kind of spit in your face, I, I don't know, I, I, I guess I just kind of lost my temper. That was amazing! I was just gonna kind of yell at him a bit, but you went above and beyond. Really? Thanks. I just wanted to protect you, Moondrop. You just seem like you're having such a bad time. I mean, you're right on that part. What happened to them? I don't know. It's a knockdown success! I can't believe you managed to beat the two of them! It completely blows all my readings out of the water! <laughs> Scrap baby? What are you doing here? I'm shocked we didn't even have to step in. Yeah, Mr. Butters, you wiped the floor with them. Wait, were you guys watching us that whole time? Well, we were gonna do more than just watch you, but uh, Scrap Baby really wanted us her hypothesis. Then I'm more than glad to be wrong. We can improve your clone machine, make them stronger, then we can take down all our enemies. It's just the next improvement. Okay, Scrap Baby, I'm not liking this arc you're going on. No, you don't get it. Part of life is evolution. Bettering yourself so that the next step, you'll be bigger, stronger. Forces come together to create species. It's the foundations of life itself. Don't you get it, Ennard? Making clones isn't about just making the same thing over and over again. It's about making something new out of it. Uh... Yeah... Hey, uh, guys, what's stabbing into the bodies over there? Oh, jeez, did I hurt them that bad? I thought I just knocked them out. <gasps> what the? Great Scott, I was right. Whoa. What is happening? I knew sample A was the more stable one. Why did I use sample B? Stupid, stupid, stupid. What are you talking about? Oh, uh, well, you see, when I was testing the substance that I was, you know, creates the clones and stuff, I had the two bottles that I was using. One was a really unstable sample, and the other one was a really stable sample. I dropped them both into a little big jar of sample sizes that I had gotten, tried picking them out, but then that was when I labeled them. I was pretty sure I was right. I... You know what? Maybe Scrap Baby is a better scientist than you. I'd like to see her prove it. The proof is in the pudding, Ennard. Life, evolution, it's everything I ever hoped of and more. 
Look at what you two have done for us. For life. Now watch it breathe. Am I the only one that thinks said life is getting bigger? Yeah. I think we should run. Oh, go, go! Come to me, my child. My pupil of life. You're everything I hoped for. Embrace science. Oh, God. See, that's what I said. Scientists don't get hurt. Good scientists avoid the danger. On you moron! Go, go, go! Uh, break, I'm gonna vomit. No time for breaks, Mr. Butters! Go, go! Run for your lives! Crap! A dead end! Oh, God! How did we run this way? I don't know, for conflict? Uh, oh god, <laughs> get me out of this death trap. Oh no. Ew. I think Ennard's vomit is the least of our concerns right now. Ah! What do we do? I don't know. The only one that ever seemed to figure out stuff about this clone thing is Scrap Baby. Come on, we gotta wake her up then. Scrap Baby, wake up. You gotta tell us what to do, man. Uh, Anna, do you have any input? <laughs> okay, never mind. Should just knock them out first. Uh, guys, I think we should probably come up with the plan in the meantime. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, baby, sunrise! <laughs> Let go of me! <laughs> oh God! I better start writing my will to Mrs. Cheese Wheel. I give you all my possessions. Don't give up now! Uh, what happened? Oh god! Ah! Oh god! They're gonna kill her! Uh, got it! This usually wakes up my wife when I do it to her. <laughs> god! Ugh! Ow! It's the only way to get you to wake up! Uh, what's happening? Did I get knocked out? <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? What's wrong? That! <laughs> Uh, oh my god! All oh, right, that did happen. How do we stop it? Right, um, well, based on my hypothesis, most life reacts to its surroundings and builds on it accordingly. If physical strength and power were something it felt like it needed, that's why it chose to build and adapt on that. You have to find the weaknesses that they haven't tended to build on yet and use them to your advantage until you beat it down to nothing. And oh, oh god, I just realized I hit my head really hard. Oh god, I... Uh, I hope you knew all that, because I think I'm forgetting it. Something it's insecure about, or something it can't fight against? Whose weakness is against it? <laughs> Why? Feelings! That's it! Their feelings were hurt! If I just insult them more, then they'll just melt into nothing. Right? I think? I ain't got any other options. Stop! <laughs> Hey, you, stupid Two-Face! Yeah, you, I bet you knew I was talking to you, huh? Yeah, I needed to get even bigger. Bet you're trying to compensate for something, huh? Where'd all the other spikes go? What, do they just get sucked into the side of your dumb head? Yeah, your dumb fat head? You know that split down the line of your face? Makes your face look fat! What kind of color coordination are those clothes? You know, like, completely different matching patterns. What are you, some kind of clown? Cause you're acting like one. Yeah, yeah, speak with your words, buddy. Oh, I bet you never passed kindergarten, huh? Because you're so stupid. Oh, are you going to cry now, huh? You're going to cry? Cry me a river. Cry me a waterfall. Cry me a whole dang ocean. You stupid, dumb <laughs> mother's Dumb f stupid <laughs> butthole. Oh, I think I might have overdid it a bit. Sunrise! Sunrise, are you alright? Oh, owie. Ew! What the hell? Oh, I kind of like it chapter two did out of existence. I haven't seen that movie. I don't get that reference. Oh. I turned into sludge by making its feelings hurt. Oh. <coughs> 
Uh, what happened? Why does it feel like it's been four months? Oh, because we lost the last two minutes of footage of this video, so we had to re-record it. What? N nothing. <sighs> I'm sorry about that, what happened, guys. I guess just being really smart made all the power go to my head. You know, figuring out stuff like that, it made me feel really good. Like, I had power, I guess. But you forgot all that stuff, right? Yeah, I think I did when I hit my head. Yay, I'm the smartest one in the room again! <sighs> well, uh, if you two wouldn't mind staying by, I gotta do a quick survey for the focus group test on that whole thing. What are you looking at me like that for? Help me! Help me! So I take it you don't want to give us your feedback? <sighs> Let's go home. I think I want to go to college now. We are not funding your college. Dang it. Uh... Jesus Christ. Never getting mixed up with that group shenanigans again. You said it. You know, that guy looked an awful lot like Eclipse. Good thing we don't have to deal with him. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wonder where he is anyway. Huh. So they haven't forgotten about me. I was telling you in Nightmare, your absence is gonna start to become a lot more noticeable. Fredbear's making preparations as well. Ah! Where'd you come from? You're messed up for that, you know. Ah. What can I say? Once in the shadows, always in the shadows. Eleanor kinda has a point. They're gonna start to notice our absence. Clips, they scramble at a pin drop. We'll be fine. The Mimic has his plans and we have ours. As long as they don't start digging for us, then well, I think we'll be fine. Although Fredbear does seem to be oddly hands-on about this whole thing, he fears the safety of his daughter. Hm, good dad. Doesn't make for a very safe one, though. What about you, Eleanor? Huh? I mean, I know you had some part in all this. Oh, well, the only notable people I messed with were those fun time freaks. Even then, that was all before the glitch trap takeover. They probably think I'm dead. Hmm. Well, I know who's gonna be our stealth. I never said they wouldn't recognize me. You got a whole new makeover. They're dumb. They won't notice. Yeah? Nightmare! It's good to hear from you. Are the others with you? Yes, they are. <laughs> what do you need, Mimic? Report back to base. I have a mission for you. 